Hey, DJ, you know what's the hardest part of the zombie apocalypse? Um, what? Pretending to be not excited. <laughs> there may be a lot of fans of the Apocalypse Squad that might just agree with you. Oh yeah, the Apocalypse Squad is going to be unstoppable. But for me, the hardest part will honestly be just deciding what weapon I want to use. I mean, yeah, there are a ton of options out there. Yeah, so let's go over a couple of them. Guys, it's the only ninja wearing Avidus and Superhero hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. And here I am, literally just waiting for an excuse to use one of my mini swords against the zombie hordes to come. But to be frank with you, there are so many great weapons out there for the apocalypse that maybe some might be better for you than others, and some might be better for, you know, random gym than others. So let's talk about seven of the best weapons for the zombie apocalypse, because there is truly no one size fits all. Starting off with the shotgun, it is the go-to weapon for your close quarters zombie head exploding needs. Being in close range comes with a ton of stress, and having a gun with a fairly wide margin of error is definitely a bonus so you can make sure to hit your target. But the amount of ammunition that it can carry is lower than other types of firearms, so make sure to add a saddle or buttstock shell holder for easy reload speed. And if you're in the States, you are in luck. Shotguns are the second and third most produced firearms in the world. And for the rest of the world, those are still the sixth and seventh most produced firearms in the world. So you shouldn't have too much of a problem finding one, you know, depending on where you live. Next is going to be the crossbow. And for the first week of the apocalypse, the crossbow may seem like it's not powerful enough to do, but do you really want the whole horde hearing you whenever you shoot anything, whether that's a deer or a bird for lunch or another zombie sneaking up on you? No, you don't, exactly. And that's why they are perfect for when you need accuracy and silence. They are typically easier to master than a traditional bow and are much easier to create makeshift bolts for when compared to firearm ammunition. And who really doesn't want to be a little like Daryl from The Walking Dead? I know he was like my second favorite character. Bonus points if you can guess my favorite character. However, this weapon does require a lot of strength to reload, and it's definitely not a fast reload. So maybe it isn't your only weapon that you keep on you. Maybe in addition, you keep an axe. An axe is one of the oldest human-made weapons in history, and tools for that matter. Obviously, it can be used for chopping firewood and keeping you warm at night, but also destroying the brains of zombies is always a nice feature as well. Just like the like and subscribe buttons on YouTube. If you, if you haven't tried that out, you should. But anyway, the axe's weight can be both an advantage and disadvantage depending on the strength and skill level of the wielder. When used right, it can be used to cut off most body parts, doors, and other barricades that may be in your way. But you better not miss because an axe can be very hard to change direction mid-swing. So once you commit, you're committing. Now, maybe that means you keep a heavy and a light axe on you, but there are many other weapons on this list that might work for you better, like a baseball bat. Yeah, I know I said weapon, but I feel like being defined as a weapon is all about how you use it. And I mean, John Wick was able to kill three dudes in a bar with a pencil. The biggest benefit is that they are so easy to get a hold of. According to the Slugger Museum, about 1.8 million bats are made each day at one of their factories. And you only really have to find one of those if you don't already have one sitting in your garage right now, which I'm pretty sure many of you do. Now, wooden bats might break eventually, so definitely going with an aluminum or polypropylene bat is a more long-term solution if you plan on using that as your main loadout. And be a little creative. You can add some nails or barbed wire to the bat. It's the apocalypse. Let your imagination run wild. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Now, of course, you knew this was coming. The katana is one that had to be on this list. I mean, I am the modern ninja. And the blade was literally designed to make clean cuts through people, so it is a zombie killer's dream. But to be honest, I don't advise this for most people. In the right hands, it could be the best melee weapon for killing zombies, but that only applies to people who are actually trained on how to use it. I've seen tons of people who don't know what they're doing, you know, swing out on a katana like it's, you know, a random stick, and that's a great way to hurt yourself and just not be effective. <laughs> This 
weapon isn't for the unseasoned fighters out there. However, on the other hand, a handgun is a perfect weapon for the unseasoned fighter. The most people can pick up a handgun and figure out how to use it within a couple minutes. It also gives you the safety of distance when you are in a real troubling situation. Maybe grab a laser to help with your aim, but this can be a great weapon for the uncivilized. And if you get one that shoots nine millimeter rounds, it's even better because they are the most common bullets in the world. Last on this list, we have the machete. It is both an incredibly useful tool and a deadly weapon. It can be used to cut wood, vegetation, rainforest, undergrowth, and of course, meat. With a little strength and a sharp blade, you can cut clean through any of the zombies headed your way. Just like other edge weapons on this list, you will have to make sure you actually hit with the blade though. But the machete is super durable and a reliable and versatile tool to have during the end of days regardless. And if you can get a good one, it will last you months and months of use. So tell me, what is the weapon you're planning to take into the zombie apocalypse? Did I say it on this list? If so, awesome, the links are down below but if not tell me down in the comments and of course don't forget to check out my patreon to stay ahead of posting schedules and get other cool perks if you're interested but until next time my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out if you like this video remember to check out this other one about the best style of martial arts or this one that youtube thinks you'll like as well either way i'll see you in the next one